What is up fellow game developers? My name is Tyler Potts and welcome back to the Muddy Wolf Studio channel. In this video we're going to be looking at tile maps, um, 2D tile maps where you base, well basically to create your world. So you can create 2D worlds using tile maps, tile assets. Um, I've created this mini game messing around and um, as you can see you've got a little golf ball and you've got these tile maps. Each one of these blocks is a tile map as you can see down here we can paint on our tile map. So in the game, you literally just got a little tile map or it has different areas, next level, go through each area, um, and let's roll it in the hole, next level, and then you've got other ones like the danger map, so if you hit the lava, you, you die. It shouldn't say our strokes, but I haven't got that far to making custom custom thingies yet, blah de blahs. Um, but yeah, that is what we're going to be looking at today, not the actual collisions, and or not the actual death dying and bringing up these screens but making your own tile maps and creating your own world using the tile map so without further ado let's get started okay guys i've created a new sample scene here just nothing in it we're going to import a couple of sprites before we get started uh, so i'm going to go to games game assets raging golf and then click golf balls and golf course one um, i'll show you what they are in one second um, so for the golf course one you can see it's a uh, tile map, a very simple one with a couple of different tiles in it for us to use. And then we have the golf balls, um, which are just a bunch of different golf balls we can use to look at just to drop them on the scene and watch them collide. So I'm going to go to the golf course and first thing we need to do is make sure our tile map is set up correctly. So this needs to be multiple, it needs to be 16 pixels per unit because each tile is 16 by 16. Uh, the filter or the uh, filter mode should be point and it should be no compression and click apply. Now we need to go to sprite editor and I'm going to click slice. Instead of automatic, I'm going to say grid by cell size and I'm going to say 16 by 16. And that is set up. So let's click apply. Let's close that. And now we can start using that. We also have the balls. I'm going to quickly do this one. Literally the same thing what we did before. Uh, this at 64 though. Uh, click apply, sprite editor, slice, this one can, is going to be 32 by 32, slice, close, apply, close, cool, so let's just make, let's just add a ball to the scene just so we have it in there for reference, so you've got a little white ball up here, um, that's fine, let's just add a rigid body 2D to it, just some generic things so we can see it moving around in the scene and bouncing off thing, and then a circle collider 2D, so that's all set up. Next thing we want to do is actually set up our um, tile map. So to set up a tile map, you can right click in the scene or you can go up to game object 2D and click tile map. This will create a tile map. As you can see, you can see the grid on screen and you can mess around with the file usage. You can make it too wide, too big, one, one, whatever you want to make it, whatever size you want to make this, you can. I'm going to leave it at the default and inside the grid, we have the tile map itself. So this is how you can order the tile maps. So you can have multiple tile maps render on top of each other. Um, you can have ones with colliders, ones without colliders and stuff like that. So you can do a lot with the tile map. We need a palette to actually draw on here. So to create a palette, we need to go to window. Um, general, uh, where is it? Sorry, uh, 2D, <laughs> tile palette. And this will open up this tile palette window. I'm gonna dock this at the bottom here. And to, we need to create a new tile palette. So on here, we're going to click create new palette and we'll call this palette course one. Um, create and we're just going to create a new folder called palette. Create and just click choose. So let's go create that there. Now we need to actually drag our tile sprite or sprite texture assets here. So this is the assets we create. So our golf course one here. We're just going to drag the whole thing over here. It's going to ask us to create um, a thing. So we're going to create tiles. And I'm also going to create another folder called the course one. Because this will create loads of separate tiles. Click choose. And it's going to put all those tiles in that folder. And there we go. We've got all our files now in there. Which is great. Now literally straight off the bat we can start drawing with this. So we can use the brush tool to brush it like you would. So with a normal brush tool. Um, we can use this square tool here to create giant areas. We, if we now use the brush tool and create a circle or an area with somewhere we can fill, we can use the fill tool to fill in here. If we're using, let's just drop that in there. 
Um, and if we use this tool here, we can select a different one to select it. Um, so select that and we can select that one in there. Just again, I don't, it's not very useful unless you use the eye tool. Click that eye here, like an eyedropper, just so you can quickly select without having to go back down to your tile palette. And then we've got the rubber where you can rub it out. A little trick is to highlight a big area, then click the rubber, and then you can rub out large sections. Little trick. <laughs> but yeah, so for, let's create a little scene and I'm just going to draw something in. Okay guys, so I've drew this little area um, and let's just move our ball. So clicking over here, we can move our ball, come out of the tile asset mode and put him there. And actually we've got a little tile area. So if we click play, we should bounce off it, right? You'd think that would happen. Uh, no, we fall right past it. The reason being is because there's no collider on this. We haven't set any colliders up. And to do the colliders, we go add component and we say tile collider 2D. And as you can see, it's created a tile, it's created a tile map. So if now if we hit play, or tiles around our tiles. You'll see it'll now land. But let's look at this. That is not right. That should not look like that. We kind of want it to sit right into the corners, right? We kind of want it to be like a proper ramp. Now, we can modify each one of these shapes using a physics shape. So if we click on our sprite set here and we click sprite editor, we can go in here and change this to custom physics shape. And now on these, we can actually cl click generate and we can actually delete these extra um, points here. So on this one, let's click generate and create. It shows us the shape, but we can delete the points by pressing on, on a Mac, command delete or command backspace, or you can press delete on a Windows machine, I believe. And then once we're done, we can click apply, um, close that. And if we go back to our tile map, it's still wrong. That's because we just need to re-render our tile map. So we just need to remove this component and re-add it in. And there you go. Now it's updated with the new tile map. So if we actually drag our ball over here, so it hits the ramp and we hit play, it should now fall, collide and roll smoothly down the hill. There we go. And off it goes, which I think is um, pretty cool. It works, which is great. Um, but at the same time, if you look at this time map, there's a lot of colliders here, which we don't even need half of these. So how we're going to fix that is we're going to create a composite collider. So we're going to go here. We're going to say composite collider 2D. This is going to create a rigid body, which we need to set to static else our world will just fall down. But then we need to click use by composite on our tile map collider. And that will join all these into one giant collider around the map, which is great. So now if we click play, we now just have a much more smooth um, transaction. So we'll just smoothly go. So normally, sometimes you can get caught in between the different tile map parts. Like you can hit off a corner or something. But this one works a lot smoother because it combines all those tile areas. Um, and then we've got this nice smooth map. Um, that's cool. And that's that's you can use that to create really quick worlds, right? You can use that to create some crazy worlds in very short amounts of time. Another thing we could do is create another tile map. So let's say we wanted to create lava down here. I have an asset called a magma block, which I'm going to drag in. And if I drag that in, then I can just quickly modify this. This will be 16. Um, it will be point normal and click apply. And now we have enough cube. We could create enough of course for the danger map, but we're just going to drop this in here and click save asset and it's just gonna drop it in now I've saved it in the wrong place but that's fine we can change that later um, and now we can draw with this but we'll just go draw over our assets and we don't want that we want a new tile map so let's actually right click on here 2d object create another tile map in here we can rename this to the danger map which will be our danger and if we set the ordering layer to minus one it will draw behind the other layers which is cool, but to be fair, it's just going to go beside it anyway. But it's just in case any glitches happen. Um, so you, let's say if you add water flowing behind here too, you can have it flowing out of here or something. Nice little little effect. Um, so we've got this, and now we want to select 
the danger map. This will be our second map, and let's add in our lava. So simple as just dragging it around, adding it in. Let's add it around here too. Now we've got lava on our map too. I'm just going to add this into. Uh, let's remove those assets. And now we've got a little lava map to collide on. Obviously, we need to add a collider again. So if we go tile collider 2D, and also a composite collider 2D, and click use by composite and change that to static. Now we've got enough for area we can land on. Obviously, you want to add a script to this to say on collision enter 2D, destroy the ball, because that would lava, magma, you know, it probably wouldn't go well for golf ball. It'd probably melt the golf ball. Um, but we're not going to do the scripts. This is that's a different topic for a different day. If you want me to see me to do, build a whole level, let's say a 2D platformer with the tile map in mind, so focus on the tile map and the 2D controller for us. Um, a um, 2D platformer then let me know and I'll do a tutorial on that thanks for watching this video guys I hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button thanks for watching guys peace out keep muddy see you in the next one